want your parents to come in when you're filming. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. So today I am doing a Valentine's Day inspired makeup look for you guys. I wanted to make this look pretty wearable for either when you're going out in the day or when you're going out at night. I just wanted to make it super um, easy for you guys. It's nothing too too crazy like. Um, it's more of a goldish, pinkish, smoky eye. Nothing too too crazy. There are no deep browns. Only in the lower lash line there is, but not on top. Everything is either a pink, um, a slight orange, or a red, and then a gold. So you don't have too too many um, extreme colors in there. I did use the Modern Renaissance palette. I've used different shadows from Morphe. So you do get a little bit of mix in there, um, but you can recreate this with any type of eyeshadows that you have. And I just wanted to create this for you guys because I think every Valentine's Day, everyone looks for new ideas on what to do for makeup because they want to have a cute date. They want to look cute for their man. So this is what I came up with. And if you're asking me what I'm doing on Valentine's Day, don't even bother, girl. I'm gonna be snuggled up with my dog studying for finals. <laughs> And that's the life I live. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. And let's move on to the tutorial. Okay, so first things first, we are going to prime our eyes using the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Base. So I like this eyeshadow base for several reasons, which I've already said before. Um, I'm also going to set that down using the Fit Me Powder from Maybelline in shade Light, which is the same shade that I use in concealer. Um, I like this eyeshadow base for several reasons. It is one of the few eyeshadow bases that really works for oily eyelids like mine. I have an, I have super oily eyelids and once you set this down with powder, it's just an amazing primer. It stays on and a lot of people ask me like, how do you get your eyeshadow to stay on for so many hours? And I say, if you prime it, you're going to get good eyeshadow. And if you don't prime your eyes, your eyeshadow is not going to look as amazing as it would if you did prime it. Um, eyeshadow look should always be set with an eyeshadow base or concealer or anything like that. But if you're ballsy enough to and go in without a primer, hey, props to you. But I could just, I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't do it. Okay, so now that we have our eyes primed, now we're gonna get on to the fun part, which is the eyeshadow. And so today, as you saw in the intro, is going to be a Valentine's Day inspired look. Um, if you do have plans for Valentine's Day, this will be perfect if you're going out in the day or at night, whichever you prefer. Okay, so for first color, I'm gonna go into this customized Morphe palette that I created. You know, everyone's gonna be shocked, like, you have a yellow eyeshadow? Yeah, girl, I do. The first shade we are going to be going in with, hold on, excuse me, hold please, okay, using a Morphe R37 brush, we're going to be using the shade Peanut from Morphe, and this is a little bit more of a cooler tone um, brown, but I like this brown, specifically just um, in my case, I am more light complected, and it works really well as a transition shade for me. For medium to deeper skin tones, this will look really good as a lid color. If you're going for an all matte look, I think that would be really pretty. Um, but for anyone who is my skin tone or lighter, this is going to look really good as a crease shade. Just because it blends in right to your skin. And it's not too orange. It's not too nude. It's just it's perfect. And I like that I just have a color that can just go straight in there with any type of look. So any look that I'm doing, I will pick up a color like this or um, a or this exact color or something similar to it. Doesn't really matter as long as it's gonna be something like that. I also am gonna pick up the Modern Renaissance palette. I think this is an appropriate palette for Valentine's Day just because it has a lot of warm tones in it and you see the oranges, you see the pinks, you see the reds, you see shimmers, you see everything in here and that's why I love it. And I'm actually going to pick up, I'm going to pick up Burnt Orange, which is right here. I'm using the same R37 brush and I'm just going to put that also in the crease as well. This is going to deepen that shade um, peanut that we originally had. And we're just going to go for a really pretty crease look. I've dipped into this burnt orange shade twice. 
but that's just a personal preference i like my shades to look a little bit more over the top next i'm gonna go into this other morphe palette um i tell you a lot of morphe products i love morphe their products are just amazing this is the 25c palette all beautiful tones as you can see a lot of warm tones and i am going to be going in i have the little cheat sheet thing that they have um this is the shade lily which is right here a little bit more on the reddish warm tone side but i'm really liking the shade now i'm gonna just put that right on the outer corners right here i'm not gonna put it's gonna go in my crease but it's not gonna go too too far in it's just gonna be on the outer corners right here so i'm just gonna build that up and make sure to have your blending brush on deck if you feel like your shades aren't blending properly you have a blending brush ready to rock and roll i'm mainly just putting this on the outer corner of my eye and i'm just doing that so it gives some depth to the look it's not gonna do too too much to the lid it's just gonna bring that little extra depth so when you're showing off your makeup on valentine's day and a girl says hey who did your makeup just say uh girl i did and i'm just kind of building that color up and i'm really liking this really digging into it so i'm going to be using this pink right here which is fiesta from morphe it is such a pretty um not really corally pink and um i'm just going to place that right where we placed that lily shade I've had this shade for a year, and it's done so well for me. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm just placing that um, pink shade, um, Gesta, right where Lily was. I'm just um, dipping into Peanut real quick, and this is my blending color, just so everything looks um, warm, there's no harsh lines. <laughs> So if anything, you can leave the eyes looking exactly how it is. It's smoked out, but it's not too, too crazy smoked out. So for an everyday look, you can do this kind of eye. Or if anything, you can pop on a matte lid, a shimmery lid, and then go about your day. But we're going to make this a little extra smoky, a little extra oomph, you know? I'm going to be using the Morphe M433, which by the way, this brush right here, I didn't mention, but this is the M441. Holy grail, holy grail, like, brush right there. I'm going to dive into Venetian Red, which is right here. In red. It's a little bit of a deeper pink. It does have that red undertone in it. So we're placing that just on the outer corner of the eye. So just right here, placing that deep pink shade. Just placing that right here on the outer part of the lid. Okay, so... The only color that we're going to be really, like, deepening up is the next shade I'm going to be using. Okay, I'm going to go back in to the Morphe 25C. And I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. And this shade name is Sophie. It's unique, but I like that it's not too, too bold and it's not too, too bright it's just like right in between if you want to smoke out your lower lashes then you're good with that or if you want to smoke out your outer corners which we are going to do that is the perfect shade and i love this shade the shade is one of my favorites it's just oh it's so pretty so i'm just blending that sophie shade and making everything cohesive So this is the deepest color that I'm going to go in with. If you want, you can go in with a deeper brown and that would look really pretty. Okay, so pretty much the eyeshadow is done except for the lid color, which I am super excited about. Okay, I'm going to be using a Morphe M167 and I'm going to go into Primavera, which is this amazing gold. Which, if you want, you can use Vermeer. Vermeer is another great option. It's more of a champagne -y pink. But I like golds, and golds would look really good. They complement really well with reds. Okay, so we're going to go in with Primavera, which is one of my personal favorite shades in the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm actually going to spritz that um, with some setting spray. This is the NYX Matte Setting Spray. Any setting spray will work. Um, I just personally think that you need to wet your brushes 
um, or at least dampen them a little bit. You can use eye drops um, on Fix Plus. Fix Plus is the one that normally everybody goes for, but today we're going to just use the NYX um, setting spray, and we're just going to place that halfway on our eye. So I just slightly do this, and look how pretty that is. And I have um, slightly hooded eyes, which means my eye um, lid goes into my crease. So, Also, you don't want to spritz your brush too, too much. If you really dampen and soak your brush, it's not going to have the effect that you want. So just two spritz or one spritz is up to you. Um, works perfectly fine. And I'm really excited to finish. You know what you can do also, which is another option, but this is for those girls who are going for like the wow factor. If you have any pressed glitter, I know, if you have any pressed glitter or the Urban Decay um, Midnight Cowboy, like this kind of gold glitter, you can put that on top. I'm personally not going to do that. I only wear glitter on super, super special occasions, like I've worn it on Christmas Eve. I did a full gold um, glitter red smoky eye which was uh, such a big hit. I really liked it. I actually ended up putting glitter on um, my cousins who wanted glitter too because we all wanted to match, which was super cute. I loved it. Okay, so this is what the eye look is looking like so far. I'm going to actually add a little bit more Venetian red. Okay, so I'm going to do some liner and lashes off of camera, and I'll be right back. I was putting my lashes on. I was just like, oh my god, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So for liner, I... Did a combo, which I use the. Where are you exactly? The Ciate Fierce Flix um, liner, and then for my wing, I did the NYX Matte Liquid liner. I don't use any other liner to do my wing besides the NYX Matte liner. And then the Ciate one. The reason I picked that one is because it's super intensely black. So and it comes out matte, which is perfect. But I really wanted to use the Ciate one. I wanted to give it a fair chance because this is the first time I am trying it out. But I actually ended up really liking it. And then for lashes, I am using the Huda Beauty lashes in the style. What are you exactly? Samantha. Okay. Okay. Now we can do a little happy dance. And we can get started on the face. And for primer, I'm going to be using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. But I really like it. I've used, I used to use this primer religiously every single day. I just, I loved the smoothing texture that it gave me. I like that it smoothed out my skin. Um, this, personally, I think it could be a slight dupe for the Benefit Professional. I actually think it could. It does the same effect. It smooths out your skin. And it's a really good primer. Okay. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in shade 203, which is Nude Beige. I love this foundation. This is my holy grail foundation. Like, if I could pick one foundation for the rest of my life, it would be the Pro Glow. And we're just going to put this on our face. Make sure to also blend into your neck. So you kind of just want everything to match. And this foundation, if you are wondering, is more of a medium coverage foundation, which I prefer. I don't like full coverage foundation. Um, I personally like medium coverage because some days you don't want the full, full beat. Some days you just want foundation, brows, mascara, or you want to just do your, um, your base makeup and no eyes. Depends on what you want. But personally, this one is the perfect combo for medium. And I'm just adding the little bit left that I need on just my problematic areas, which is this section right here. So since we're going with the Pro Glow theme, we're going to just keep on going with the Pro Glow theme. I'm going to go in with the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer in the shade 2. This is my, like, this has been like a recent favorite of mine. I like the consistency of this concealer as well. It's super watery. I prefer watery consistency of concealers just because they set more natural like and I'm also going to set that with the Fit Me Powder. Ooh, L'Oreal Maybelline. Okay, I'm going to set that bad boy in. If you don't want to look too cakey underneath your eyes, um, just don't set as much foundation underneath there as you normally would. And then I'm setting that with the Fit Me Powder. 
and this powder just does a really nice job so I'm a fan of this combo of the L'Oreal Pro Glow Concealer and the Maybelline Fit Me powder if you don't make weird faces when you're blending out concealer or doing your mascara are you even really real like everyone makes weird faces when they do that I don't know why we all just do for some reason And with the translucent powder, no matter which one you use, just go in with a light hand with translucent powder. You don't want to go in too, too far and with too much powder because you can tend to look a little too cakey if you put a lot of powder on. And we don't want to look powdery on Valentine's Day. We want to look cute. Okay, so we have our powder on underneath our eyes. And now we're just going to set everything. And I'm going to be going in with the Fit Me Powder. Let's also ignore my friend that's over here. Um, yeah, let's just ignore it. Um, also, as I'm setting my face, I'm not setting my highlighted area. I learned a trick from Desi Perkins that um, if you want your highlight to really stand out, don't set your highlighted area just because your highlight is not going to stick that well on sitting on top of powder so if you have your powder right here your highlight right here it's not going to shine us through as much as when you just have foundation here and then your highlight on top it shows off a little bit more i'm going to do my brows real quick and i'll be right back okay so now we have brows on we look a little bit more human we are going to move on to the rest of our face so we're going to bronze and i use the two phase chocolate soleil bronzer like if you hit pan on a product you know that the love is real Alright, we're going to go in with this Morphe N9 palette. It has a lot of really good blushes in here. I think, what are we going to do? I think I'm going to do a combo of these two right here. And these two don't have names. I'm going to do a slight combo. But, like, look how That's it. These blushes are super pigmented. So you just got to be careful if you do use these. And this blush... It's so pretty. Just two little pats and we'll be good to go. So for highlight, since we're sticking with golds, we're going to go with the gold highlight. Sorry, I got to. I got to. So we're going to go in with the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette. We're going to go in with Glow Getter right here. And I am going to use that on a Morphe M510. We're going into Glow Getter. So, just fair warning for the glow, people. It's going to happen. I'm excited. Yes, 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 yes. Now I'm going to put that on the temple of my forehead. Just so we can form that C-shape highlight. May have gone a little carried away. Makes me so happy. I love it. Okay. So now that we are highlighted, we're gonna go back to the eyes real quick. We're gonna just do the bottom lower lash line and then do a lip, some setting spray, and we'll be good to go. So for the bottom lash line, you kind of can do whatever you want, honestly. You can do nothing on the lower lash line. You can do um, smoked out lower lash line. So I'm going to take the Modern Renaissance palette, since this just happens to be out. <laughs> I am going to take, oh god, what shall we do? We're going to go in with Burnt Orange first. I always like kind of going in with my crease color first. Just so we have that cohesiveness all ready and to rock and roll. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with a shade we have not used yet, but I love it. It's Real Gar, which is this really pretty orange shade. And I think oranges really just make a really nice complement to the eyes. 
They make your eyes stand out personally. And at least with brown eyes, oranges can be your best friend. So speaking for any person that has brown eyes out there and is watching this, I got you. And then we're going to go also in with Venetian Red. Okay, so now that we have those colors in, I'm just going to smoke that out. Okay, I like smoked out eyes. Like, I, I, I do. They're just so pretty. I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber, which is this rich chocolatey color. And I'm just going to do that right at the point of my waterline. So just kind of pressing that in. And I'm not going to smoke that out as much. And I kind of want to, I wanted to do this personally, just so um, you have that depth in there if you are not going to put the um, black in the waterline. So I'm just kind of pressing that and I'm not really blending that too, too much. It's just making sure everything looks cohesive and pretty. Oh, I just sounded like Patrick Star for a minute. What am I doing? I am going to just put some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm going to be using the Colossal Big Shot. And this is in collaboration with Makeup by Shayla. Love Makeup by Shayla. I think lower lash mascara is a necessity in any look. I think it just adds so much dimension to the eye and I think it just adds like a really good um, frame. Again, if you don't make weird faces doing mascara, are you even human? Okay, so we have lower lash mascara on. Finally. Okay, so now we are going to be doing the lips. I'm going to be going in with the NYX Peekaboo Liner. Which is just a little bit of um, more of a mauve nude. Okay, so I'm going to line my lips and then we're going to pick another lip color to put that on top of. So we have this on and you see it just adds just that perfect like color. Like, oh. I, I love it. So we're going to do a combo of some stuff. It's a pretty much like a big crayon. So when you're applying it, it's super hydrating. It stays on perfectly. So this is in the shade Tawny, by the way. And no lip combo. Would be complete without Ferris Nude from L'Oreal. Oh my god, I didn't highlight my, my nose. What is wrong with me? What the heck? Is it even me if I don't highlight like my cupid's bow? Like, huh? Okay. I'm really liking this lip combo. I'm gonna just highlight the tip of my nose. Okay, now this is starting to look more like me. I was like, something's off. I just don't know what it is. And then it's like, oh, I don't have highlight on my nose at all or on my cupid's bow. Okay, last but certainly not least, I'm going to set everything. Okay, we're going to just be using the matte finish setting spray from NYX to set everything in place and to lock it in. Honestly, this doesn't really come off as a matte setting spray. It comes just more as a setting spray in general. But for anyone who is oily and they want to stay matte, this is the one for you. For anyone who is dry, they do have a dewy version of this setting spray and it is really, really good. Okay, just setting everything into place. I'm going to highlight the inner corners real quick. I'm going to take a little gutter real quick. Okay guys, so this is the finished look i hope you do like it and if you are going out on valentine's day i hope you wear this look and if you have any video ideas for me and talina just leave it down in the bottom bar below but i hope you guys enjoyed this look make sure to give this video a big thumbs up for us subscribe and spread the word around to your friends we really appreciate all you guys' love and support 
on everything that we've been doing. So thank you so much. And I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,